Good day, Rad Fam Adventurers, all the way from Australia. Today we did laundry, and we are also packing up our stuff. So I thought I would lay it out and show it all to you, so we can go through the clothing items that we have brought with us on our trip. If you haven't already checked out our other video overviewing all of the things that we're bringing, you can check it out right up here. For today, we're gonna go over all of our clothing, all of this stuff. So, without further ado, let's roll. All right, guys, here we are with our full spread of our clothing. So this is for two people, for myself, Ryan, and for Darren, who is currently holding the camera. Thank you very much, Darren. I'm wearing my awesome Outback hat today, which actually I got in South Korea like six years ago, but I'm wearing it today for you guys because we're in Australia. All right, so let's go. I'll start with all of my items and then we'll move over to Darren's. So the line is kind of right here. Cool, now let's go to my shirts. I've got my another wool item, icebreaker, my blue shirt, and then the one I'm wearing. And those will be switched between a sleeping shirt or off the bike shirt. And then I also have this like a little bit nicer shirt just for if we go out, go out, <laughs> or I just want to look a little bit more presentable. Something like this is really, really nice to have on tour just because it does dry super fast and it can dress you up in a pinch if you need. Here I have a sun shirt. This was Darren's. I actually stole it from her. We have this in Southeast Asia. Problem with white is that it does get really disgustingly dirty. But this is really nice if we're just riding in absolute blistering heat and I just wanna fully protect myself with long sleeves or we're having a day at the beach. Again, really, really lightweight. This is another synthetic something rather. I think it's Patagonia. But something like that, if you're very sun sensitive, it's really nice to have. Just know that it will get filthy. Really the theory is that you wanna have two pairs of clothes, one for riding and one for off the bike. And our trip is a year long, so we really had to plan for four seasons. If I was just doing a summer trip, I probably would just have one of these items and not two because one would be sufficient, probably just around camp at night. But for now, we've got two of pretty much everything just to cover our bases in case it, we get soaking wet and we need to get warm by the tent at night. And we're also heading into winter soon, so we will need to layer up. So I've got this uh, white Sierra, I don't know, probably something I got on sale at REI. Just kind of one of these, just like some sort of polyester or synthetic fabric. I've had that for a very long time, probably over 10 years. What I've also recently purchased is this Icebreaker Merino GT. Darren and I have both found that we really prefer wool items. It packs up really nice and small and keeps me just as warm as this one does. You can see this one's not gonna pack as small. And yeah, it doesn't stink when it gets a little sweaty. Really nice durability and it just feels nice against your body. So those are my two top mid layers. I also have a base layer wool. So this is more like my long underwear. Okay, my poofa jacket. This was a purchase on sale. It's just an REI brand. Got it at the garage. There she is, REI co-op brand. And this thing has kept me super warm. Again, another item that you really need to carry with you if you're going anywhere cold because you know, even if you just have some sort of lightweight base layer for camp, if you're going somewhere cold, you're gonna need something a lot more than that. And this is just a great way to carry a lot of warmth in a very small amount of space. We both have down jackets, synthetic will work as well. They just don't pack down as tightly as um, down does. Let's go over to the bottoms. Just have a pair of sleeping shorts, just something like that, really lightweight. I could probably do without these and just either sleep in my underwear or the long underwear if it's cold. So that's probably an item that I could discard along with this tank top. This tank top is just kind of like a sleeping shirt and I don't really use it for much else. Another item that I have, which might surprise some of you that I would give a miss is my bike shorts. I had two pairs in the beginning and I just realized it was too much. So I just went down to one pair and I rarely wear these anymore. It's just, I find that with the Brooks saddle, I don't need them. But for those of you who are looking for a really lightweight pair that can go under any short, because it's more like a little pair of underwear than a full bike shorts. These are the uh, just REI co-op women's small, um, just like that. They're almost just kind of like jock shorts. But again, something that I probably would not take with me the next time. I don't know why I'm holding on to them, but <laughs> we'll just put these in this pile over here of the don't really need it anymore. And moving on, I have my pair of shorts that just go over. These are my riding shorts. I've had these for ages, mountain hardware. These can just go over any other pair of bike shorts, or like I said, just wear them as is, just with some underwear. Highly, highly recommend something like this that can quick dry 
and yeah, just super comfy and lightweight. Base, base on the bottom, I have two items. I've got my wool long underwear, the two sexy, so this is a, a mid-weight. So I'll wear these when I'm riding. So pretty much what I'll do is I'll decide like, okay, this is gonna be my riding set, right? And this is going to be my camp set. Now these are silk, my silk long underwear. And this might be overkill for some people, but like I said, we're about to go into winter, but these are super lightweight. And you can see they pack up even tinier than the wool pants. And these are also nice just to put on at the end of the day if you've been really sweaty and just kind of helps you sleep so you don't have that sticky feeling. Pants, I have long pair of pants. I just got these for super cheap in Taiwan because I needed something to do the woofing work in. So I just recommend having one long pair of pants that you can wear off the bike. Like I don't really ride in these. I also got a new pair of shorts. It's just cotton. Again, like not really functional for cycling just because I needed a change of wardrobe. I was just getting sick and tired of wearing the same exact black shorts or blue pants every single day. So every now and then you just gotta give in and carry a little extra weight, change up the wardrobe, have some flair. Maybe that's just me. All right, what else we got? We have a high vis jacket. This is just a really lightweight, always get to have something high visibility. I think when you're riding in really dark rainy conditions or somewhere that there's a lot of traffic and it weighs hardly anything and it can super pack down. So high vis jacket or a vest, which is what Darren has. Darren has her little vest right here. Okay, my, my rain stuff, my mammoth jacket. I actually got this when we were in Germany. My other rain jacket just wasn't cutting it. It's been a great jacket so far. It's not the lightest, but it's also not the, the heaviest. So it's somewhere, somewhere in the middle. Yeah, there's the jacket. Rain pants, I went for ages without using rain pants and we finally gave in when we went to Tasmania. I've only used them once, but I have a feeling going to New Zealand, we're gonna be using these quite often. It's always good to have a pair of rain pants just for that extreme situation where, you know, the weather turns and you can't get to shelter and you need to warm yourself up. They don't weigh a lot and it's just a good piece of kit to have with you. So these are the Rab, the women's Rab rain pants. No pockets in this one. It's a little bit of a bummer, but it also helps keep the weight down. These are super lightweight. I can't believe how light they are. And again, yeah, these could really pack down quite small if I needed them to. Rab, almost like rad. Have my, just some winter gloves. We'll probably have to get another pair when we go to New Zealand because these won't cut it. But for some minor cold riding, they've been great. Always good to have a winter cap. And as I said before, I like hats. So I've got my, my bike hat. I have another hat that is somewhere downstairs. I've got my sports bra, again, wool. I really like to wear wool stuff. I had two which I would recommend two sports bras if you are a female. And I just lost the other one, so I'm just making do with one right now. See, I've got my sleeves. They're not matching anymore because I've managed to lose one of each, but yeah, they're just sun sleeves. And you guys have probably seen me wearing these in the videos. Really, really nice to make any short sleeve shirt, essentially long sleeve and protect you from the sun so you don't have to put a bunch of sunblock on. I have three pairs of socks. I've got my toe socks and these are all wool. Like once again, we just love our wool stuff. One pair of thick. I'll probably get one more pair of thick when we go to New Zealand. Bathing suit bottoms. I used my other sports bra as my top. So that's how I make a bathing suit. And then we each have four pairs of underwear. Now you could probably do with less, but being female, we find that, you know, in that time of the month rolls around, it's nice to have a couple extra pairs. So it's, they hardly take up any space. I would say at least three pairs, four is nice. And once again, we love wool, so. We each have, I think, two pairs of wool and two not pair of wool, and we both always just like divert to trying to wear the wool underwear because it's just so much more comfortable and they dry quickly and they don't get stinky. Now I've got some more of the cold weather stuff. I've got a couple buffs. This was my old shirt that I made into a buff. Got a couple bandanas, probably overkill, but you can use them for other stuff like packing up a sandwich. To show you how we pack our things away, we have just some uh, storage cubes, these cubes, like luggage sack things just to help organize your clothes. So what I'll do is I'll just stuff my like main things in here, like the pants. And I actually will use this partially as my pillow too. And I just stuff these in here. This kind of goes with my rain gear. This always stays out so I have quick access to it. I'll just stuff it on the outside of my bike. Same with the sleeve. And then all these little small items just go in this small bag. And that's it, roll it all down. And then that's our, that's our clothing right there. Right there and there. Now these will just get stuffed in the bag as well. 
So that's my stuff. All right there for a year on the road. Not too bad, right? Not too bad. All right, so we're talking about my stuff, which is quite similar to Ryan's because we did the same amount of research and we have the same likes and dislikes. So starting out, I have my rain jacket. I have a Patagonia um, shell, um, which does, does its job. I have rain pants as well, possibly keeping me warm pants in the cold of New Zealand. Now on to my other pants. These are my long underwear. They're just synthetic long underwear because they were free. <laughs> Found. Found. And then I've got some cool pants. They're quite cool. cool. Uh, they're a recent purchase. They're my off the bike pants. Nice. And cool. I love them. And then I have some lounge pants. These are my wool icebreaker sweatpants, but I kind of, I like to sleep in them. And when we're on laundry days, I wear them. Now onto my shirts. I have wool shirts, icebreaker. I have four. I try to just use one for riding, like for a few days in a row. And then I have one shirt clean that I can wear if we're off the bike and I take a shower. And then I have a nighttime one. And then I recently at an op shop got a, a nice long sleeve shirt for off the bike and for added warmth as well. It can also be used as a sun shirt. I also have a long sleeve that goes with my uh, long underwear. It's a icebreaker 200 long sleeve shirt. A smart wool long sleeve that I love. This is another layer to go with the long sleeves. And here's my poofy jacket. It's a Patagucci as well in a bright blue color. Mm -hmm. um, I wish I had a hood. It's mm. not the hooded one. I think next time I'd get the hooded just for the added warmth, especially at night, then I could wear it. Now onto my shorts. I have some sleeping shorts. These are just cotton shorts. I could give them away. And then these are my riding shorts. I wear these every day. They've definitely seen the sun, but <laughs> I love them. They're cool as well. I do like the brand Cool. Um, high quality stuff. They're not wool, but they dry really quickly. So I also have a pair of board shorts. I haven't worn them as much as my other shorts. And probably in New Zealand, I won't wear them unless I need <laughs> more warmth mm -hmm. as an added layer. So we'll see, but I, I like them too much to give away. Mm. So I'll, I'll keep carrying and them. they're good for off the bike. They're good for off the bike. All right, I've got wool socks. So I picked up some really thick wool socks. I have three other pairs that are more lightweight, thin. Um, I do like having this many socks because if they get wet, I like to have a dry pair to put on. And if I have to double up, um, I still have an, another pair mm. to um, use when I need something dry. I have sleeves. I have been wearing these. Um, so I don't have to wear sunblock, which I don't like being all greasy and sticky. Um, next up, I have my buffs. So I picked up a winter buff for mm, winter, um, buff. winter buff bandana for washing. So I, this is what I'll wet and clean myself with to do a sponge bath. And then this is just another buff. And then I've got gloves, icebreaker gloves. <laughs> uh, Patagonia. We're like walking advertisements for icebreaker. Well, I like wool. We like yeah, wool. Yeah, we like wool. Um, with a little bit of texture on the fingertips and the palms. And oh, I can, can use phone with it. Yeah. I can use my phone with it. Underwear, wool underwear. Uh -huh. This is not icebreaker. They're Ibex. Ibex, okay. Ibex. Cool. Um, and you like those? I do like these. And a sports bra. Frost. Two sports bras. I'm wearing one. And then I've got a beanie. Gotta have a beanie. This is my beanie definitely use this and then sometimes I'll sleep with it and then I'll go like this <laughs> and then it's a mask and a I think I know. have seen you do that yes I've definitely done that and I've got a hat this is my got a sun hat I got a little sun hat for the beach for style for added style now you look like you're from California you gotta let people know where you're from California represent so this is my setup of clothes including what I'm wearing mm-hmm and these are my packing cubes. Pack it up! These are thicker. Mm, mine are a little thicker. Mine, mine are from Sharper Image, yeah. AKA Marshalls, but you don't, they were on sale. Bigger and smaller clothes, bigger so like un underwear, socks. So I'm slightly organized. And then once I wear them and they're dirty, they stay out of the cube. Mm. And then I, I leave this up yeah, top. Like I, do. I leave this out because it's rain pant. You need quick access. So I kind of just stuff this in between these guys because it kind of fits. Cool. Shoes. Quick rundown of shoes. We almost forgot. So both of us ride flat pedals, so we are not clipped in. 
and Darren has her Vivo, Vivo barefoot shoes, and those are quite comfortable for her. We both like to have our feet moving. For my shoes, I have the Lems. These are quite comfy. They're not gonna win you any style awards, but they are very comfortable. Uh, for on the bike, they do get a little torn up on the bottom just because my pedals are really sharp, but typically I won't wear those on the bike. I really just wear my sandals, and Darren and I have the same pair. We both have Bedrock sandals. And these have just been absolutely great riding. For those of you guys who don't like riding in sandals, you probably think we're crazy. Uh, they've gotten a little bit, they've gotten a little bit torn up there, but not really too bad. They're very thick soled and pretty stiff. So yeah, we both really like riding in these my sandals and I'll just wear these when we're off the bike and walking around town and stuff like that. I just find them more comfortable to walk in. I like walking in the bedrocks, but these are just more comfy, especially if it's somewhere like a long hike or a long walk and they're just, they're so light. They weigh like, I don't know, a half ounce or something. So I don't mind carrying them. So those are our shoes. Maybe in New Zealand, we'll have to get a more robust pair of shoes. It's possible because it will be more wintry. We'll let you know how we go. All right, guys, that's it for now. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos because there will be more videos like this upcoming. What's like a vital piece of clothing that you would never leave behind for us? I know that it's our icebreaker shirts and woolies. Woolies. All around. Woolies all around. All right. That's it for now. So get out there, adventure on, and stay, stay rad. rad. Woo! Yeah. Trying to get this photo is tricky. <laughs> Behind the scenes action. Oh, all right. Okay.